Okay guys, we try to contain your excitement. Today I am shooting another Quest Bar video. I'm sure you can tell because you clicked on the link. Um, this is Quest's new oatmeal chocolate chip cookie protein bar. I was really excited when this one came out, you guys. Um, I'm a big fan of oatmeal cookies. I'm a big fan of chocolate chip cookies. I'm a big fan of cookies. They look pretty delicious. I don't know if you've seen the cover, but that cookie is literally exploding with oatmeal and chocolate chips. So right now, my expectations are pretty high. Um, it's on you, Quest. That looks too good to be true. And it probably is. I mean, it's a protein bar. It's not gonna be a cookie. But any excuse to eat cookies in the morning, I'm right there, so let's try it and see how it is. I've got the bar open. Forgotten this little condom wrapper. I wanted to pull it off. It's really sticky, as most quest bars are. So, get ready for more chewing action. I will try to speed it up or something. Last time I spent half my video chewing. So this is a bar. It looks, um, you see there's chocolate chip right there in the middle? You can see there's actually oatmeal in the bar, which is nice. I, I like it when they break up the consistency. Otherwise, the Quest Bar is going to be so chewy that you're just chewing and chewing and chewing and it's kind of like bubblegum taffy type of chew really sticky. It's got a good amount of chocolate chips, which is perfect because I come here for the chocolate. It smells really strongly of cinnamon. And I know that um, oatmeal cookies tend to have cinnamon, but I guess I was expecting more of just like a plain chocolate chip with the oatmeal in it. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the cinnamon and the chocolate. So then I would think, I think more like oatmeal raisin cookies. It smells like an oatmeal raisin cookie, but with chocolate chips instead of raisins. Uh, but I hope it's good. Looking. I'm gonna try it. Prepare yourself for chewing. Lots of chewing. I apologize for the ramp. You see, in the middle of the bar, it's got a decent amount of chocolate. But I want to say the cinnamon is kind of overpowering. It tastes a lot like an oatmeal raisin cookie. It's got the oatmeal, it's got a lot of cinnamon, but then it's got chocolate chips instead of raisins. Which I'm guessing they're doing because they know a lot of people aren't huge raisin fans. When I was a kid, I saw oatmeal raisin cookies the way they just sneak raisins in me. That's not a big raisin fan. I don't know. It's not as good as I had hoped it would be. It's kind of heavy on the cinnamon. So if you're looking for something that tastes like an oatmeal raisin cookie, but with chocolate chips instead of raisins, this is pretty close to that. But it's not my favorite. It's a little sweet. The chocolate chips are kind of overpowered by the cinnamon. It's not my favorite bar. I, I preferred the blueberry muffin bar. And I'm normally a chocolate person, so that kind of surprises me. Um, but yeah, so I would give this maybe a 6.5 out of 10. It's really not my favorite bar. The texture's nice, the oatmeal's nice, but it's too much like an oatmeal raisin cookie with a really heavy cinnamon that overpowers the chocolate. I probably wouldn't buy it again just because Quest has a lot of good flavors. As far as protein bars go... It doesn't really taste much like a protein bar, like a lot of Quest bars. It's got that kind of sweet aftertaste from, I think it's the erythritol that they use or something like that. Um, but it's really, it's in the family of Quest bars, the flavor of Quest bars. If you like the way Quest bars taste, you like their texture, you'll probably like this bar. I'm not the biggest fan. It's kind of over cinnamon. If you really are craving a oatmeal raisin cookie with chocolate chips, this is the bar for you. Otherwise, I wouldn't really recommend it. It's okay. It tastes fine. It's not great. So I give it a thumbs middle. Is that a thing? A thumbs middle. I give it a thumbs middle. <laughs> Guys, so 
I'm laying on my floor now. I've been overpowered by that cinnamon and it just kicked my ass. Also, I broke my flip-flop on the way up here to review. I broke my flip-flop, you guys. I was up here reviewing and I broke my flip-flop. I give these flip-flops a 2 out of 10. This stupid Target flip-flop lasted me like four months and I broke it with my giant unwieldy toes. So Target flip-flops, you get a 2 out of 10. Shame on you. This was not worth the $7 I paid. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Bye!